And now, I present to you a dramatic reading of a real fan fiction by a real person. <sighs> it's raining again, I thought sadly. The rain poured down from the sky on the hood of my mother Janice's car. I was nervous because the rain always makes me think of bad things like dying. I wish I wasn't here. I wish I was any place but this. I wish this wasn't my first day of school. My mother Janice parks the car next to the school and I look up at the building. It looks scary like a dark room with no lights. I ask if I have to go? Yes, my mother says sternly. Please, I plead. No, you have to go, my mother screams. Fine, I say. Go make friends, my mother says. Friendly. I get out of the car and my mother drives away fast before I can even say goodbye to her. I feel really nervous. I walk towards the school, which was huge and frightening. There are students everywhere watching me. I look at the ground. My shoes are not as cool as theirs, I think. Hey, new kid, a boy shouts at me. I ignore him and feel sorry for him. I am stronger than he, and I feel bad for him. Go away, I shout. I walk closer to the school, and the building looks bigger than before. My eyes practically fall out of their head as I look up. There are huge stone statues above the door that look like the ones at the end of Ghostbusters. I shiver. Are you new? A girl asked me. Yes, I said. I am new here at this school. Loser! The girl screams at me, but I ignore her because I believe you should create things instead of destroy them. Go away, I say to her. I walk to the school and open the door. It's huge and wooden, and my arms are almost too weak to open it. A boy with glasses laughs at me when he sees me, but I ignore him. When I'm inside, I go to class. It was horrible. The teacher made me stand up in front of the class and say how I'm new and introduce myself. Everyone stares at me. I wish I was invisible. The mean girl from earlier was there as well. After class, I go to the lunchroom. All the tables are full, and I look sadly around the room for one table that has a seat. There aren't any! Just then, I hear a voice suddenly speak from behind me. It sounds like an angle. Hi, he said. Are you new here? Y -y 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 yes, I stuttered. Don't worry, these guys can be jerks, he murmurs. He has dark black hair and ocean blue eyes. His voice is like a singer speaking at a concert. He's perfect in every way. <sighs> Thank you, I mutter. Do you want to sit here with me, he asked. Yes, I shout. Everyone looks at me because I just shouted. But I don't care, because I have new mysterious friend to eat lunch.